Desert Four Wheelers video. Today, we're gonna hit a trail called Secret Canyon. This is a pure rock crawling trail. It's on a, um, a like a riverbed, if you will, or stream bed. It's all, all rocks. So, looking forward to it, should be a good day. Uh, today we have two Jeeps with us, the one in front of me and, and myself. And um, we'll be hitting this trail, hope you enjoy it. By the way, if you're interested in uh, going on any of these adventures, the club meets the first Tuesday of the month. You can get a hold of us either through Facebook or Instagram. And at the meetings is where we talk about runs we've been on and we plan future runs. So if you want to be a part of that, you're welcome to come and join us. Still on our way to the start of the trail. Um, just coming down this, this hill here. And just even leading up to the trail itself is pretty bumpy, pretty rocky. And the secret canyon right there in front of us. You can see all the rocks in the riverbed or under there. It's a dry riverbed right now. But uh, that's the trail that we're going to be going on. So we're going to start here, at the, this is a Lower Secret Canyon, and then we're going to transition to Upper Secret Canyon. Uh, you see Travis here trying to, trying to get in. Looks like he did a good job. So this, ooh. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, so, all right. So we'll go ahead and get, uh -huh. get going on this ourselves. See how we do. Coming through here. <clears throat> so I haven't been on this trail for, well, I've only been on this trail one time, and that was uh, about two, three years ago. And uh, let's see if we get over this rock here. And back then we weren't, we heard a secret canyon, but we weren't really sure where it was at. We were looking all around for it, and we finally found it. So, sort of a secret now, but not so much. There we go. You can see it's all rocks. And uh, the first time we got on it, we went, we were transitioning, I believe, south on Lower Secret Canyon. Oh, I gotta get the front lockers. Just sliding everywhere. Yep, there we go. And uh, we got a little ways into it, but then the boulders just became the size of this cheap. So. Going to the right where you got caught between those rocks last time. Yeah, see there, you see there you're talking about the time we got caught behind some rocks. Uh, so we couldn't go much further and we ended up turning around. That's when I got caught in those rocks. And then we ended up on uh, Upper Secret Canyon. Go to the right at the fork or left? Travis, did you go right at the fork or the left? Just go left. I'm trying. Should have gone on the left side of the big ass rock. Alright, I'm gonna go left. Right, did look a little more interesting. So Travis is getting stuck over here.
even ourselves. Straight. Come up. There you go, come straight over. You're gonna have to push. Now you're really stuck. Now you're really stuck. All right, so we made it through that obstacle. Man, this uh, this uh, secret canyon is a real bear to get around. So we had to do a lot of rock stacking and stuff. Hopefully the video came out okay. Uh, we were both pretty busy stacking rocks and trying to reposition the Jeep. We were, we were caught with the front axle and then underneath the Jeep as well with a big boulder, so um, couldn't get through. Uh, the Jeep I'm driving has 35 inch tires, lockers front and rear, and I got a five and a half inch lift. So it's got a good lift, it's just uh, 35s are, I would say, are the bare minimum to get through here. Of course, bigger tires will make it a little bit easier. I've also um, got a doubler on my uh, transfer case. So just nice and slow rock crawling through here. But yeah, that was a real bear, that obstacle. Looks like we got more ahead. Just a little. You're through. See how big these boulders are. Oh, looks like Travis got a little stuck there. Spot, Travis. Oh, there you go. You're looking pretty good. Yeah, that looks good. That's good line. 
You need me to come out and uh, spot for you, Travis? So we're at the waterfall section. So see there's a waterfall section. We did that last time we came through here, but this time it changed a little bit. Uh, it's, it's the rains, so we're not gonna go that way. We're gonna try to bypass it. It's just the undercut and we just don't wanna, wanna risk, um, risk breaking anything. Especially, especially in here. If you break something in here, it's gonna be a real bear to get out. So we're gonna, Travis is gonna come up along this way. You see how big the rocks are there above the Jeep. They're taller than the Jeep, I should say. There you go. What? Yeah. There you go. Take it easy. Nice and slow. Back it up. You're gonna drop into a little hole and you'll be fine. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, I know. You're doing fine. Go straight. There you go. That's good right there. 
Just take it easy. Hold slow, slow, slow. Okay, keep creep forward. You can be fine. There you go. All right. All right. Keep going. That's a good line. Go straight. No, no. Well, okay. You can go that way too, I guess. It's fine. I was trying to put his front passenger on that boulder. He just skirted right there. No, no. Turn a little driver. Turn a little driver. Turn driver. Turn driver. All right. All right. I'll catch up. All right. So I'm backed up and I'm going to take that bypass line. Right here? Yeah, get around that rock. Okay. Is that good? That's it. That's it for passenger. Yep. I'm gonna put a wheel on that rock right to your. Okay. Oh. I'm trying to get my wheel up on the rock. Try a different line than he did. I'm gonna go to the right. I think either way it would work. Might catch my diff on those. side and uh, see if we can get a tire on that boulder to the passenger side. And hopefully the rocks won't move too much and we'll be able to scoot on over them.
same line to get the workout good. Looks like this WJ didn't get too far down the trail. It's pushed up against that rock right there. That's why you don't cross when there's a bunch of water. That's probably a good idea, huh? Last time I came through here, there was two feet of water all over in this creek. Oh man, that'd be fun yeah, to do. I don't think that shroud is trail is a really difficult trail. Well, I don't know if it's really difficult, but it is challenging. So if you do a lot of rock crawling or if you wanted to take out your uh, Jeep to test something out, this is definitely a trail to go on. Travis was telling me a story earlier about how he went on this trail with another guy who was uh, building a rig for King of the Hammers. He used this as a as a way to test it out, make adjustments. So that kind of helps give me an idea. So uh, Travis is going to try to scoot around some of these larger rocks that we see here. And then um, Okay, looking good. That looks pretty good. Oh, okay. You So you caught your pumpkin there. You're going to have to go a little more passenger. Are you are you trying to come this way? Uh, you're gonna catch. You caught it again. All right. So it's gonna go wide. There we go. Yeah. You gotta go a little more passenger around that turn. Alright. So with this big boulder here to the passenger side we're gonna try to clear that, but we might get hung up on it, we're not sure yet. Looks good. There you go. Now you want to turn driver. Yeah, that's it. That, oh, whoa, 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 shit. Just take it easy. There you go.
right, you pretty much threw it. All right, because I'm longer, I'm gonna reposition myself up on the hill and try to make it through the obstacle this way. Or around the obstacle, I should say. Must be kind of there. How's that look? I gotta go, I gotta go wide, I gotta swing it wide. I'm gonna have to three-point it. this uh, I need to go wider I'm gonna hit the rear I need to go wider I know I know I'm gonna have to No, it's not. I'm on the undercut. I need to go wider. Okay, now I can cut over. Field of boulders are just way too big. We can't get through them, and they get bigger further in. So um, our Jeep tires are too not big enough. All right. All right. So we're gonna bypass this section here. Big rocks. There's no way we can get through it. All right. All right. So I think we're near the end here.
not a very long run. It's only uh, a few miles long, but it's definitely a rock crawling trail. And it's definitely, it can be a bear, depending upon the obstacles that you try to take. So I hope you liked it. Again, if you wanted to uh, come out to a meeting, we meet the first Tuesday of the month. Find us on Facebook and Instagram. Alright, well, thank you for watching.